Because Mashin, one, two, three, does eventually get the truffles. Oh, and the wheat. A5 might be a little too overlappy and then doesn't get everything over here. That doesn't feel very good. I don't want to settle on the stone. I could settle, um, I could settle something like an A6 over here. One, two, three. So Mashton doesn't get the horses. Yes, there'd be some overlap, but not that much. A6 gets us eventually one, two, three. Okay, not all the stone, but another city will get this stone at some point. Um, it has the advantage of being fresh water right away. It can work the wheat earlier than Mashton will and can use that for early growth. It's right adjacent to the stone to start off with. Um, two, three. It'll take a while before we get A3 within our borders to build a holy site or campus there. A1 will be a little sooner. A4 will be fine. Yeah, a lot of calls for A4. Yeah. So A4 doesn't have access to food early on. But it's not too bad. Obviously, it'll overlap with Candy, which is going to be a city that we own probably in the not too distant future. So I think, in any case, settling, I think, to the south is very strong. Plus, I'm not likely to compete for this location because it is the border here. So if we go here, if that is if that is an enemy sieve down there, which is not sure. The dashed outline just means open borders right now, which could be a city-state. Or it could be a actual civilization that just doesn't have... The fact that it's a double border, I think that means an actual civilization as opposed to a city-state. The dash means I can walk through it because eventually the, the borders will close up once civics get chosen. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we are going to choose stone circles and get a ridiculous amount of faith from our second city which is interesting to consider a4 put a production district there that's true yeah so let's consider that let's say we put industry here um and maybe pair that up with a commerce here Right? And then this is our uh, campus or holy site. And this is going to be our holy site or campus. You know, sort of invertible. Um, like that. Because, yeah, that would be an, an excellent industrial zone with the triple production and the plus one from the hill as well. And then you get a commercial zone here. It's next to only a single river tile. Um, or here, potentially. This could be the commercial zone instead. I think commercial... Let's take a look at it here. Commercial... Commercial hub. It's plus two gold from each adjacent river. Would this count as two or one? I actually don't know. I'm not going to settle on the stone next to industrial, because that will eat the stone. I could consider settling on, say, this stone or something over here, but no fresh water access. That's the problem. With If these are all being reserved for that, then we don't have a good place to actually settle our city next to fresh water. Again, um, a aqueduct solves all that. And that might be a thing. Because you can aqueduct from a river, right? River, lake, oasis, or mountain. It does eat a tile. Yeah, pins are awesome. It's one. Okay, so it's just one, so it gives you plus two gold. So now I'm wondering, okay, let's say we build a commercial hub there. Let's say, even though there's a lot of overlap with candy. Uh, actually, is it too close to candy? It is too close to candy. I was going to say I could settle here, but I can't. Yeah. What if we settled on the bottom part here? I don't know what A we're at, but... What if we settled down here? It's quite a bit further, which isn't great. And, you know, I like my cities, especially my first city, to be quite close together. It still has a ton of overlap with candy. Between A5 and A6. Actually, maybe that's the one. Maybe that's the trick right over there. River start. Plus adjacent to stone right away for easy productivity can reach all the tiles we're interested in. I think A7 is the winner. It can work the wheat right away. Yes, the wheat could eventually be taken by Majden, but... I think I like the A7 start. Okay. 
I mean, we don't have a settler yet anyway, but that's okay. Uh, you just rest for now. We'll come back to you. This slinger, you're going to get upgraded to an archer for 30 gold. Excellent. This slinger, you're going to move in there, and you'll be doing the same thing. So I'm tempted to finish the settler. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to finish the settler, and I think I might settle at A7. And I think they did fix the map pin behavior. Because I didn't see any overwrites over here. Yeah, pe mo most people are saying A7 they like as well. I think it's very strong. Again, early on, I'm not very concerned about overlap. It's about your first, like, two or three tiles for an early city. Let's make sure they're freaking amazing. You are going to get bopped. And Warrior, your job is going to go to park yourself near Candy over here. You're going to go and upgrade to an archer. Then we'll promote you so you can heal up. Um, now, I'm going to have to escort the settler. And then I think we'll be making, we'll be attacking Candy. Two archers should be able to actually take this. Uh, as long as the bombardment locations are good, and they are. We can bombard from the woods over here. Get some good cover. I like it. So I'm just going to park myself sort of in between here and make sure there's no barbarians when we put out our settler, and that's going to be good. <laughs> Skill without imagination is craftsmanship. Hey, treasure! If you choose A1, my respect will be gone. A1 is on par with choosing Justin Bieber. <laughs> All right. Uh, do we want to change policies now? Probably, because we'd have to wait 10 turns, and I do want to get a builder. Actually, 10 turns isn't bad. Oh, I okay, here's the thing we're going to do. We are going to change our government, because I don't need God King right now, because we got our Pantheon. Uh, but rather than go to Ilkum, I'm going to take Urban Planning at this juncture. Because I might squeeze out one more Settler. Or, more, sorry, one more Archer before I start my Builder. We'll see how it goes. And we're going to be able to swap our things around in 10 turns anyway. Uh, it's going to be 7 for the Settler. So yeah, that's going to be okay. So we're going to do that. Actually shaves a turn off the Settler, which is nice. Um, I'm going to not lock any tiles anymore. I was going to say, it'll probably do what I want at this point anyway. And then I don't have to worry about micromanagement and forgetting something. And the sooner you get a builder, the more productive Magician gets. But I think Settler into Attacking Candy is going to be relatively strong. You have a promotion available. We are going to give you... This play is like a really hilly map, so I'm going to take faster movement on hills. And you are going to get promoted to... While Incendiaries does help us take the city... We're not going to get there early enough. So I'm just going to take bonus against land units and just try to kill things a little bit faster, and that's going to be good. You get the boost to this. That's okay. Pottery doesn't get a boost. Excellent. Um, oh, yeah, Agoji. You're right. I could have taken that. Um, I forgot that we'd unlock that. I could have probably replaced the Barbarian Booster, but that, you know, it's okay. It's fine. I should have, but I forgot that we'd unlock that, actually. So you're done. All right, you're going to get ready and go into position over here. You, I'm just going to be lazy and put you on automated exploration. Congratulations. The laziness starts early. Chat wants Petra all the time, even when the wonder is bad. It is much stronger in Civ 6 than it was in Civ 5, but at higher difficulties, it's still a big trap. And I have you stay here just for vision for now. You keep working that, which is going to be fine. You know what? What's I interesting is with the plus one production, it's almost as good as the um, Ilkum anyway. While you only have one city. Or, well, or while your cities are small, I should say. Alright, pottery completes, which is fine. We're not looking for that. We don't have a boost to anything else. The question will be... Are we going to be building a holy site or a campus first over here? Belvala! Thank you very much. 
Hey, I've watched your YouTube for years now. Thanks for the great Paradox Lost Strategy streams, as well as Football Manager! Go Air United! Damn right! You should check out RPG Fragged Empire. Okay, I'll put it on the list. Unlock Iron? Really? Why? I don't don't really see. I mean, you get extra production, which is nice. Um, potential item, you know, units and things like that. We don't need it super mega early. I'm thinking we probably want to get a district down earlier rather than later. Start working up the great people points. The question is, do we want to rush a religion? We are going to get crap ton of faith from our quarries. Um, to build quarries... Oh, no, I can do that now. Good. Yes. Excellent. Think I've lost the Great Prophet War already? That's entirely possible. The Great Prophet situation on Deity is redonkulous. Three points per turn, two points per turn, three points per turn. So three people, only three people so far are generating points. Right, but faith is not the same as great people points. Just building a single holy site probably won't get us enough great profit points to get a religion. I gotta remember, it's hard to like unlock myself from the previous point of view. Faith does not increase the rate at which you get great profits, although you can faith buy something perhaps to finish it. Oh, unlock iron for city's placement. Yeah, that's true. But I think first district should be holy. And then someone else immediately after says, campus first. I suspect we'll get the boost for writing first. I'm going to start working towards this. If we happen to find a natural um, um, wonder or whatever, then we might change up. We'll see. All right, you stay there. You skip turn. Can I build my industrial zone right away? No, no, no. It's not unlocked yet. As I say, it's a unique building, but no. We will have to get that relatively early, though. So a couple of warriors. <gasps> Barbarians. Three warriors. Now it's at strength 25. How'd your garrison strength get so strong? It's because you got the warrior in there. That... Our barbaric strength is 25, plus we get plus 7 versus barbarians because, or not, versus city-states because we're Germany. I think we might be okay. I'm going to hard build the third archer here. This is a bit of a gambit. If it doesn't work, it's going to suck. I want to capture the other builder. Actually, I don't need to capture the builder. If he goes around improving all this territory, that's okay, right? Like, I don't need to capture this guy. I mean, I guess I could use it now early to improve my own stuff, but it's fine. All right, you start making your way over there. That's going to be okay. You're going to be going there. I'm still very happy with this location. Four turns away from another archer. I might start when I've just got the two in position, though. Candy crush time. You guys are awful. So you're not going to be Berlin. You are, in fact, going to be... Oh, my God. This, uh, no word of a lie, this is the next subscriber in my totally randomized list. Candyman is going to be right next to Candy. <laughs> Which, I, I'm, I'm starting to think that, um, I'm starting to think that, um, we may not rename Candy. <laughs> Just because it's too perfect, you know? All right, you're going to get started on a builder. In one turn, we're going to put in Ilkum, so that should be okay. Boop. Delete. 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 We're going to keep the markers for these things. Um, 
And yeah, over here we'll probably do something like... It doesn't matter, because no matter what, we're going to be adjacent to exactly two. Although, oh, you know what? Once we discover iron, that might... If there's iron near a capital, that might change where we put our industrial zone. So, okay, we'll hold off on that. Alright, so you're just getting in a little closer. That's going to be fine. We're about to switch over to Ilkum. Yeah, but I should have changed to a go. We should go do that at the time. But it's not, I think it would only maybe if we're lucky one turn. Now turn off urban planning, which does hurt a little bit. Put in Ilkum. Because we're going to build an, a builder in uh, Majdan as soon as this is done. Um, and I guess I am... I'm going to keep discipline. Survey is nice, but I'm going to put this in right now. Probably won't shave a turn off this, but maybe we might have to construct some more, so we'll see how it goes. Um, right, well, we can't use the wild card until we get a, a government, so I'm just going to go ahead and work up this way. Um, state workforce first, because we're almost certainly going to get district in time for that. We may not be able to get the boost to early empire, we'll see how it goes. But I really do want to uh, unlock the superior religion, or um, governments, sooner rather than later. Rename Candy to Candyman now. Oh, I see. Or rename this to, with a K. Tribal Village. Oh, nice. So. I don't think I've ever seen that before. You get a free builder unit? Just teleport it to your closest city? That's phenomenal! Alright. Let's get some cattle going on. Use candy to lure kids into war. <laughs> uh. All right, everyone's in position has movement. Let's do it. Could possibly go wrong. Warmonger penalty none. Not that we've even met anyone who would be aware that I've done this. They've got two envoys. You know, it's a little unfortunate, but they had the bad luck of spawning next to me. You must be. We need a little bit more living space is all there is. Actually, we're trying to form up the HRE, right? So I'm going to focus fire primarily on the... Um, I'm going to do the uh, the warrior here first. I'm going to ignore the builder. It's going to be mine after anyway. Mine. Mine got. All right. Good start there. I'm a little worried about the bombard. Actually, derp. They can't bombard me until they've got walls. God, I'm still so not in the Civ 6 mentality. Right! That was my biggest fear, is, oh, they'll bombard me, it'll be hard. No! God damn it. Game's easy. There's our machine reboost because of our third archer. Um, now, I mean, I still have a Goji in here, which, you know, maybe something else would have been good. I did it in, because I was worried. What if things go wrong and we need the boost some more? I'm not sure that we do. I'm not going to build a builder here. I was going to. But now I'm not going to. So now I'm like, did I even want Ilkum at all? Maybe not. It's boosting our production here. I mean, I guess I could still build another builder, but we're not going to have that need for it. Might just go for a trader unit. I mean, monument, yes, very nice. Early trader to get some extra growth and production between our cities is really good. Yeah, no, I'm going to go monument because, yeah, our, right now our culture situation is kind of poop. So, you're going to go bombard the city. Part of me is tempted to kill this... Scout, because I don't want barbarians coming to candy. I'm going to do that. Hey, give us a boost towards bronze working. How nice is that? Oh, shit. My writing. I forgot. I actually lasted it way too long. Well, let's switch over to bronze working. So, yeah, I overkilled our writing a little bit. Because we still haven't met another civilization. I mean, there should be a normal number of them on this map. Uh, I'm going to move to here. No, I think just stay there. That's fine. I'm just go and fortify up and heal. Um, and the other archer can move to here and help bombard the city once that comes up. So you're going to come over here. Unless I want to leave it here to defend stuff. Hate to get some stuff pillaged. Um, I'll take the attack there. Because the barbarians don't heal out in the wilderness. Just when they're sitting idle in their base. I could have swore I just saw something move over here. I think I'm going crazy, though. It's okay. Just a little crazy. So, I'm, as much as it's important to damage the city and make some forward progress, we do have to keep down that, that count. Oh, I didn't realize I killed them that effectively. That's okay. 
pasture it up. Attacking this guy. Sure, why not? Candy Offmachen Machen. I don't know what that, that word is. Pew pew. Pew pew pew. Uh, no, we're just gonna sit there. That's fine. Oh, I didn't check if I'm getting the plus seven bonus on my uh, bombardment over here. I'm curious. Alright, so that's hooked up. I will... Does it matter which one of these two I improve first? No, they're bo I mean, they're both luxuries. The sli slight bonus might be different, but that's okay. We'll do this. Uh, before I move any closer to what might be a barbarian encampment over here, I am going to go ahead and fortify it until healed this dude. So that's another city-state down here, although I don't think it is. I think it's a... Um, I think it's a... Civ. But if it is, we're going to be in great shape. Because we'll probably go conquer it with our superior German forces here. Less than decisive victory, apparently. Oh, there's the Barbarian Scout. So yeah, we're going to finish the monument, and then I might build maybe another warrior, actually. Or, uh, bronze working, we'll be able to build our spearmen. We don't need iron for that. That's probably exactly what we'll do. You build this, giving us plus one production, and we get a boost towards the wheel. Good. Use your last worker for quarry. Well, there's going to be some quarrying down here. And I don't have another quarry within reach. I mean, I could have moved him down here, but we're about to get a builder down here, so that's okay. I'm, I think I'm fine. I'm going to capture a quarry here, too. Plus cotton. Nice. How can you change the name of the city? So, you couldn't in, um, in the original release, but now if you select the city, then you click the button here for city details... Then you can click on the city name and rename it. Alright, Triple Archer coming in. One. You can get promotions, but I'm not going to do the turn doing that. Um, I think what I do here is I keep bombarding the city. I'm not. This guy's not a threat. Well, he might get a promotion, and then they could double attack me with a lot of damage. City's close to finishing. If I shoot it, I can probably just take it next turn. And then we don't have to worry about their lingering units anymore. So I will do that. Um, oh, you've got a promotion. Perfect. I think at this stage of the game, I actually want you to have Battle Cry. It's not really relevant in this attack, but I'm going to need to be able to fight with the warriors. Ooh, look at that. Heavy chariot. That's not going to matter, though, because I'm pretty sure we just triple bombard candy and then conquer it. One. Yeah. Two, three. Three pop-ups. So, our population hit a total of six. So I'm actually going to start working on an early empire right now. Population hit a total of six or higher. Uh, we got a quarry over here, which is great for our pantheon. And we captured a builder. Of course we're going to keep the city. So Candyman and Candy over here. So I'm going to keep the name. We could tweak the spelling, but I don't think that's required. Um, I may as well repair the granary. Because it doesn't take very long to do. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Next, we got to worry about barbarians in the north. But we can easily swing back over there, so that's going to be fine. Candy Crushed. Kaiser Quill, yeah. Kaiser is a different way to write Caesar or Kaiser. The other thing that you should know, that Tsar, the Russian Tsar, is also Kaiser slash Caesar. It's all the same word. All the same word. Also, Kaiser, the German pronunciation Kaiser, is probably the closest to the way it was pronounced in Roman, in, in Latin, Kaiser. Kaiser, Kaiser, something like that. Kaiser sounds like Tsar, right? Kaiser, Tsar, 
Now you can sort of see how this is going, as opposed to Caesar with that soft C. Much less likely, as far as I've heard the stories.